Sage for Sagan here, and today we're looking at the Void vs. Eagle Eye Biotech Force Curse uni Corpse Universe. <laughs> um, so, of course, uh, Void is uh, looking pretty good. Uh, I like the paint app actually on the fa on the head on this figure. Uh, he's got these crazy eyebrows going on and some stubble and stuff that um, you know just makes him look like. <laughs> <laughs> a kind of a cartoon in a way and I kind of like that in some ways I also like the paint apps on the belt on the front because the way the sculpt is you don't have to have paint on the back for this figure it you know it doesn't make sense to have to carry that gold all the way around unlike the way some other figures are sculpted and of course they painted the gun a different color in the holster which is good uh, as far as the mini attack drone it does looks like it has two guns uh, no paint apps on the drones or the pistol um, and of course, I don't know that I'd want my drone to be such an obvious color and easy to shoot down because you could see it coming from a mile away. Uh, but that's, you know, that's toys nowadays, you know. As far as Eagle Eye, I love the fact that they did some war paint on him to kind of touch base on his American, um, you know, Native American heritage. And of course, with, without the uh, new accessory, he kind of is just the same old figure. Um, but I love the new accessory too. Uh, you know, it has swivels on both of the weapon mounts. Kind of has a Predator vibe going for it. And it very much looks like it's an answer to the fact that, hey, we don't have the virus, but we do have technology we can fight with. And same thing with like the Roboraptor. It has little guns on its arms. Um, the mount does open and close. And, you know, it's just a cool looking little robotic death machine. <laughs> Uh, if I saw one of these, I would definitely not be uh, staying still. Uh, the, the tail is very uh, spiky and does not articulate in any way. The legs articulate and the arms articulate. The jaw articulates. Um, but the tail does have some really cool looking um, spikes and stuff and a grabber on the end. So if it was an articulated tail, he could actually grab your weapon out of your hand or whatever while he's eating your face off. So definitely not something I'd want to go up against and of course uh, with him having the articulated jaw you can have him actually look like he's chowing down on somebody um, as far as this goes this is probably what most people would buy this set for because the other figures are re you know reissues basically with some extra accessories so uh, if you like these videos like comment and subscribe and of course as always pour on the plastic